Hey, welcome back. This is Defender Chassis. My name's Scott, and you're watching episode 19 of Have You Seen My Tool? Today's tool is not an American-made tool. I know we try to, um, to do stuff made in USA as much as possible, uh, but this is the next best thing. This is not made in China. So uh, it's actually a tool by Noga, which if you're familiar with Noga, uh, their stuff is made in uh, Israel. It is typically for the machining industry. And you know, uh, here at Defender Chassis, we lean a little more towards fabrication than we do machine work. But we also like to show you tools that do not necessarily, uh, were not made uh, originally for this type of work, or you know, maybe we're using them in an alternate way. And what we've got here is a Noga NG3400 uh, deburring tool. Now this would typically be for uh, deburring um, uh, drilled holes, which is that's exactly what we're going to do with it. Uh, but the difference being that uh, what I had in mind when I got this was for sheet metal. Um, if you've ever used, and I'm sure you're familiar with a, these step bits, you know, they're great for drilling into sheet metal. Problem is when you're drilling a lot of soft aluminum, like we use on race cars, you end up with uh, quite a burr. What I've done in the past typically would be to use a countersink and put that in a second drill. Or if you don't have a second drill, then you, you're constantly changing bits back and forth. So in an effort to uh, maybe cut some time off of um, those type of activities and seeing uh, this tool from Noga, I thought uh, might be an excellent opportunity to um, uh, you know, improve on uh, cycle time. I've prepared a uh, sample here. Let me get the camera moved down and I'll show you how this thing works. Okay, so hopefully you can see here that I've got uh, three holes here I drilled with the step bit that I just showed you. And you can see the, the kind of burr that, uh, that it leaves. So with this, with this Noga tool, all you do is simply, you know, insert into the into the hole and then you know, give it a couple of turns. And we'll do that here for each of these holes. And uh, there you go. You've got um, a deburred hole with a with a nice with a nice little chamfer. So. I actually just recent, recently picked this tool up, and uh, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that I did. So far, I think it's going to be a, a, a good addition. If I come up with something or you know in use, I'll do a, a follow-up video. But uh, so far, I think uh, I like this. And you know, just for the record, this is not a paid um, it's not a paid advertisement. Um, I have no connection with, uh, with with Noga. There may be other companies that make similar tools. I know that what some guys will do actually is take a countersink bit like this and install it into a uh, like a file handle or something of that nature. And I know that works fairly well, uh, but uh, you know I was kind of attracted to this the way it's made uh, because you know you can uh, easily spin it, uh, make quick work of it. So anyway, hey, listen, if you like these videos, you want to see more, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, like, and uh, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next uh, episode of Have You Seen My Tool. Thanks.